A busy day in our area. He also met with leaders in Wentzville as the state rushes to hammer out an offer to get General Motors to expand their Wentzville plant. We know Parson is willing to spend millions to make that happen. Today, News Force Paige Halsey pressed him for details. Right now, GM trucks like this Chevy Colorado are some of the fastest selling the company makes. They are exported around the world, and these are one of the reasons the company is looking at expanding its plant here in Winsville. After a closed door meeting at Winsville City Hall, Missouri Governor Mike Parson confirmed they are looking at offering $5 million a year over 10 years in tax incentives if General Motors invest at least half a billion dollars. It's about the retention of jobs. When you see that five other plants have closed across the United States, 14,000 people has lost their jobs. You know, if General Motors would decide to take this somewhere else, you can imagine the effect it has here in our state and here in these communities. I asked the governor what GM is promising in return and if it includes new jobs or a guarantee to stick around. Some of the things we are still limited to what we can say. What we're basically saying, we have been in negotiations. The director, Dixon, has been in negotiations for them weeks upon weeks upon weeks. Even local leaders who have spoken out against tax incentives for businesses in the past say they support this deal. It's not a question of uh, giving money to move uh, a mall from this city to that city. It's a matter of keeping jobs in Missouri and making sure they don't go to another state and making sure the investments come here and not to Michigan or Ohio or some other place where GM uh, has a plant. Governor Parson says GM plans to make a decision by the end of this month, so that means legislators will have to act fast. He hopes they pass this by the end of this session. In Winsville, Paige Holsey, News 4.